so namaskar students myself dr harish kumar and i am going to tell you something about television news production stages in this particular course of television news production let us tell you something about the objective behind this particular course the objective of this course is to help students to develop practical understanding of television news production the idea behind this is to help students in identifying and developing skills related with writing reporting and producing of different television news programs and in this particular regard different stages of television news production are very important for us because it is going to provide us insight how we are supposed to move further as far as uh, television news production stages are concerned basically pre production stage is one of the most important stage for us because uh, what happens that uh, as far as tv news industry is concerned uh, we are having a lot of you know tug of war and the tug of war is going on uh, because who is provide, providing exclusive kind of content who is providing uh, the content which is uh, having some novel idea or information uh, how a particular content is different from uh, any other channel so it's a, it, it is the liability of uh, the uh, news producer or news writer to develop a kind of story which is having you know uh, having uh, some novelty novel idea exclusive element is there or data uh, is being provided in such a manner which is going to create a kind of impact on others sometimes uh, we can also mold the mind of others with the help of particular kind of news or information news are very important for us because sometimes it happens that uh, it uh, it is having a kind of impact and uh, we should not forget that even uh, the person who is at administrative liability they are also many time it happens they are also going to change their own strategy on the basis of a particular kind of news so in pre production stage uh, different things are very important like uh, how you are going to plan a story whether you have done proper research for your uh, story or not the kind of data that you are going to use whether these data are authentic or not whether you have properly cross check the things or you have forgotten to cross check the uh, data apart from it the way you are going to make a treatment where you are going to put emphasis in your news story whether you are just you no know, projecting yourself as a biased person or you are going to do justice with your own news story so all the things related with planning research or developing a particular kind of idea or information or you are going to conceptualize the thing all the things will be coming under the category of pre production stage and that is why we used to say that uh, how effectively you have planned about all the things you are also going to plan for your uh, live programs also the way you are going to hire this a particular studio the way you are going to use different kinds of equipments suppose uh, you are going to plan uh, for a, a particular uh, outdoor broadcast and uh, the way you are going to decide about the kind of equipments the way you are going to capture different kinds of things so all the things are should be planned properly if you are going to make a particular kind of uh, documentary news do, news based documentary then you are supposed to take prior permission from the authorities also whether you have prepared it properly or not for investigative kind of journalism you are required to be very courageous in nature so whether you are having that proper capability or not or you are going to develop all these things so if you are having uh, you know if you are going to equip yourself with different kinds of things so definitely you will be able to achieve your goal and your goal is to provide the news or information which is without any biasness or accurate information you are going to provide you are going to provide the information which is having an uh, impact to change the mindset of others in a positive manner i'm saying all these things so research conceptualization conceptualization and all the preparations are coming in this particular category of pre production stage production stage is a kind of stage uh, which is uh, related with the execution of all the things which you had thought earlier so if your planning is proper if your research is proper or you had took a lot of time to introspect yourself the way you are going to present the things so definitely 
product, production stage will be very fruitful for you. Sometimes it happens that uh, at a sudden you are going to face any kind of problem or issue. So how effectively you are going to manage the crisis, this is very important for you. Suppose uh, you are going to cover a particular kind of sports news in which a commentary is going on and at a sudden rain starts. So how are you going to manage the crisis? If you had pre prepared yourself properly, if you had prepared filler also, uh, what you are going to do at that particular moment. So definitely you will just not be facing that much problem in production stage. Apart from which in production stage you are going to ensure whether all the things are taking place as desired by you or not. So production stage is very important and as far as television news industry is concerned in which you find that most of the programs are live in nature. So uh, that's why it's also a kind of challenge for us that how effectively we have prepared for our own television news program. As far as post-production stage is concerned, post-production stage is the kind of stage in which we are going to refine our news-based program. We are going to delete unwanted words. We are going to do uh, editing for this particular purpose. Apart from it, we can make a program more accurate in nature as far as uh, timing is concerned, as far as, uh, as uh, the flow of information is concerned, as far as the approach related with news is concerned. In this regard, we can also take the opinion of others and the others' opinion are also playing a major role in deciding uh, different things related with news. So in post-production stage, we are going to refine the things, we are going to make it more accurate in manner and in this manner, we are going to present the things. So therefore, whenever you are going to uh, just produce a particular television news program, uh, there are a few tips that uh, I think that uh, we should discuss about it. Uh, because uh, if you are going to uh, just you know, keep in mind these tips, then definitely you will be able to do justice, justice with your own story. The first thing is uh, focus your, uh, your story on summarizing in three words or uh, use one theme per story, one thought per sentences. Uh, there are different kinds of rules related with it. And uh, apart from it, uh, if you are going to use uh, different sentences uh, that, that in that manner, then definitely you are supposed to take the help of different thoughts because you are going to combine different kinds of idea together in this particular manner. And as far as complex stories are concerned, you have to tell complex stories through strong characters. And uh, because uh, if you are going to use strong characters, then definitely viewers are going to remember or they are going to feel the kind of story. And uh, in this particular manner, you have to decide that uh, whether you are going to put emphasis. So apart from it, you will find that uh, use objective copy or uh, uh, at the same time, the sounds are also playing a major role. So you'll find that in any particular news story, apart from text, the sound, the words are also playing a major role because of uh, the combination of these, you are able to communicate a particular news story in a proper manner. And in any news story, you are going to use active verbs. You are not going to use passive verbs like this particular thing has been done by this particular person or the kind of thing. Apart from using active verb, you are going, apart from, uh, you know, using uh, passive verbs, you are going to use active verb. And uh, the sentences should be in present, uh, present tense only, not, it should not be in past tense. And uh, apart from it, uh, you are supposed to give viewers a sense of time, time passing that uh, we are, from time to time, we are going to provide updates and uh, how the situation is uh, being you know maintained or what is the current situation and uh, apart from it you'll find that leads uh, should tell the viewers uh, so what stories tell the viewers what so what so th they can think about it and they are, are supposed to get answer about it and in this particular manner the viewers will be associated with news story so dear students, today we discuss about different stages of television news production. I think that uh, uh, this particular insight will be very fruitful for you uh, when you are going to practice all these things in your in your project. And apart from it, uh, it will also be very helpful whenever you are going to join a particular industry because uh, every day we are getting some target and we are supposed to achieve that particular target. 
and if you are also just going going to incorporate all these things in that manner like pre production or planning kind of thing effective implementation kind of thing and how we are going to make corrective measures just to refine our mistakes so these things are very important for us and in this proper manner we can move further and i think that uh, if you have planned well if you have researched properly if you are having a proper data which is accurate in manner which is having some uh, you know uh, exclusive kind of element then definitely the people will just uh, uh, try to uh, just put their own time on watching your own program otherwise they might be just not skipping any other channel so these things are very important for us so dear students the questions of this class is that uh, you are supposed to make a proposal of producing a news based program which is having all the necessary information that you want to provide so dear students if you want more information or further elaboration you can visit the websites mentioned here apart from it you can also read books but i feel that uh, your practice and your projects are more fruitful for you because in this way you are going to get some real kind of experience which is required by the industry dear learners thank you once again still if you are having any doubt or you want some clarity you can write me mail on my email id my email id is harish.kumar@galgotiyasuniversity.edu.in we'll meet again till then bye bye take care and happy learning